with Chief Meteorologist Derek Beasley. Well, I believe I can finally turn off the AC this week. It's getting cool enough. Yeah, you it's might cool, turn. but sunny. Hey, yeah, uh -huh. you're going to need to turn the heater on. We're still expecting some cool mornings here, especially by Saturday morning. Some of us, some of us in the 30s and 40s, but definitely it was a beautiful afternoon today. A little bit of wind out there. You'll probably notice a little bit of smoke here in Mobile this afternoon. There were some controlled burns up in North Mobile County, and some of that smoke did make it down our way. But overall, lots of sunshine, no rain on live pinpoint Doppler. And currently, temperatures holding in the lower 70s right now. 71 here in Mobile, 73 in Pensacola, 70, the cool spot in Evergreen. The winds have been kicking up through the afternoon. We were expecting this with that cold front that came through yesterday, and so the winds have been gusting up to about 20 to 25 through the afternoon. Northwesterly sustained between 5 and 15. Winds should die down after sunset, and it looks like tomorrow the winds will be even lighter, but uh, still plenty of sunshine out there. The fire risk is elevated with the low humidity and the winds picking up, so be careful if you're going to be out there uh, doing any burn. You don't want it that to get out of hand. It does look like the winds, though, will be a little bit lighter for tomorrow. So through midnight tonight, down to 52, some 40s and 50s overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, and then back into the middle 70s here for tomorrow afternoon. But we're still tracking that cooler air. You can see it back behind the banner there, all the clouds, showers, and even a few snow showers through ports of the Great Lakes and the upper Mississippi Valley. That cool air is eventually going to head our way, but wall-to-wall -wall sunshine across our region. And again, it looks like that'll be continuing here through the end of the weekend of the weekend. No rain in the forecast through next Wednesday. And even now, preliminary look at Halloween. Halloween at this time looking just fine. Of course, that's subject to change, but at least through it next Wednesday, we should stay dry. Lorenzo is on its way out. It looks like it is starting to weaken. Uh, winds are down to 45 miles per hour. Upper level wind shear will continue to impact the system, staying well out in the open Atlantic. Of course, not a threat to any land areas. So here's pinpoint predictor for tonight. Winds will continue out of the north. Uh, they should gradually die down later on tonight. And then notice the arrows here, not quite as long, so the winds should be much lighter for tomorrow, about five miles per hour in most uh, instances. And then as we go into Friday, the winds start picking up out of the north once again as the cold front pushes through. And this is the one that's going to bring us the cooler weather. Highs around 70 expected here for Friday afternoon and lower 70s expected for Saturday. So really the weekend shaping up to be fairly nice. It's the mornings that are going to be a little bit crisp across the area, particularly Saturday morning, and that's when we'll have some lows generally around 40 here in Mobile, but inland sections will be even cooler than that into the mid to upper 30s. So for tomorrow, very similar to what we had today across Mobile and Baldwin County. Winds again will be lighter. Skies mostly sunny. Temperatures into the middle 70s from Citronelle down to Gulf Shores across inland sections. Expecting low to mid 70s from Chatham to Bruton to Evergreen. Northwest Florida, lots of sunshine. Mid 70s across the board from Crestview down to Pensacola and Navarre. And southeast Mississippi will see a good deal of sunshine throughout the day. Again, middle 70s from Greene County all the way in the coastal sections of Jackson County. Here's your seven day forecast. Sunny skies through next Wednesday. And again, it looks like this may even last into Halloween. Still no significant chance of rain showing up in the next seven days. Low temperatures, though, dropping back into the 40s tonight. So it will be 46 overnight tonight, 48 tomorrow night. And then by Saturday morning, that's when we could see our coolest readings for the next seven days, around 40 here in Mobile. Some areas, though, falling back into the uh, 30s. So a little, bit, a little bit frosty, if you will. Mm -hmm. I think the frost threat is decreasing a little bit because I think the winds will stay up overnight Friday, but uh, it's still going to be cool nonetheless. I'm looking forward to those very cool mornings. The 40s, I mean, it sounds good. We've been waiting for it. And it we'll, does feel good. We'll be back in the 80s next week. Though. Yeah, we'll be back in the low <laughs> 80s by next Tuesday and Wednesday. So kind of an up and down pattern. Here. All right, thanks, Derek. Yeah.